Sure. So a little bit of background about the next generation cloud infrastructure from Oracle. So the the next generation Oracle cloud infrastructure uh, was built from the ground up several years ago based on a lot of experience with customers and uh, building a team that had a huge amount of experience with building cloud solutions. Many of them have been in the industry building the cloud for the last 10 years. And the key differences are the focus on uh, the amount of performance in the system, uh, the amount of flexibility and versatility, the ability to handle traditional workloads as well as cloud-native workloads, the ability to govern the infrastructure, really thinking about a large organization from the top down versus a single individual developer from the ground up, uh, and the ability to optimize that platform for a lot of special and unique Oracle technologies like the Exadata. So if you think about Exadata on next-gen cloud infrastructure, the key things to think about are the overall application. So Exadata has already proven itself over the last 10 years as the preferred database infrastructure uh, because of the way it's been built. What we've done on the next-gen cloud infrastructure is basically to provide everything else an application needs. Right? So if you think about a database application, obviously the database, the compute, and the storage around the database is very important. And Exadata has optimized all of that to provide very high performance and reliability. What we've done is we've complemented the Exadata with things like bare metal compute. So customers can get extremely high performance compute that's equal or better than what they have on-prem, as well as things like uh, extremely high performance block storage. So they can support the application layer, the middleware layer, and all those things, again, with the components around the database. So really think about it as a way to complement a very, very high performance database platform with all the other components you need for a database application. So what are some of the other services on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure besides Exadata? So one of the key ones, again, is the compute infrastructure. We're the only cloud that uh, provides customers with bare metal compute instances. These are super powerful machines, 36 cores, uh, almost 30 terabytes of NVMe SSD memory uh, or flash storage, where uh, it's equal or better to what people have on-prem in terms of their servers. Complement that with Exadata, complement that with an extremely flexible uh, network service, our virtual cloud network service, which lets them do just about anything they can do on-prem, right? Carve up an application into the proper network infrastructure, isolate each piece of the application, govern exactly who's able to access which resource within the application, those are some of the additional services we offer in, addiction, in addition to the Exadata cloud service. So some of the use cases we think about uh, with Exadata and the Oracle cloud infrastructure are, again, these high performance types of use cases. Take, for example, a transactional application. So uh, transactional applications, whether they're in retail or finance, really, really benefit from a very high performance infrastructure because every, literally every second or millisecond counts. So for a retail application, the customer experience, to give the customer the best experience when they're buying something or doing a transaction, uh, you want that infrastructure to be high performance throughout. So from the compute servers that are, that are providing uh, infrastructure for the, for the presentation layer, down to the database that's actually doing the transaction, you want performance in every layer to make that transaction better and then to make the retail experience better. Same thing goes for banking. If you're thinking about a trading application or something that's doing high frequency trading, every millisecond counts. If you're able to do a trade faster than your competitor, uh, you, you're gonna get that business versus the competitor. Uh, analytics is another type of workload that benefits from this infrastructure. So again, where you're able to do uh, your analysis faster, you get faster time to results, that's gonna give you a benefit uh, at the top line in terms of your business, if you're getting the information or the analytics faster. Uh, other things to think about are newer applications where you're combining a classic relational database uh, with, for example, a NoSQL or scale-out database where uh, you have some amount of transactions and records around, say, the customer uh, or the actual transactions. And you have some amount of data that you're storing in a separate type of data management solution like a NoSQL database for stream data or around the profile of a user, being able to combine those aspects uh, very, very quickly 
in an application architecture, again, is something that's going to give a company competitive advantage. So that's four use cases uh, to think about when you're thinking about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and Exadata. So as we're working with customers and trying to identify uh, some trends and use cases, we're seeing two big ones stand out, uh, and I'd put them in two buckets. One is the more traditional types of applications, so mission-critical enterprise types of applications. Those fall generally in, in what I would call a scale-up type of architecture. Uh, these types of applications rely on the database and database performance and response time in order to do their job. Right? That, what makes them mission critical uh, is the ability for the database to have very high performance, uh, and second, the entire stack to be extremely reliable. Uh, that's one category of applications, and some of the Oracle applications fall in that family, like an e-business suite, where customers are looking at Xdata as the database of choice on that back end. Uh, the other camp would be newer applications, uh, again, that sometimes use it, that traditional architecture that I just described, and in some cases, add additional components to that architecture, again, such as a scale-out database uh, or a big data component like a Hadoop or a Spark type of component in that application. We're seeing some interest there as well, where, again, they want that rock-solid reliability on the, on the database platform side, but they need... Uh, the performance on the compute, on the storage side for, uh, again, the other components in the application. So uh, the kinds of verticals that we're seeing some initial uptake uh, of the solution, uh, there's a few that stand out. Uh, one is uh, around financial products and insurance. So this is an industry, again, that values uh, performance because they can directly correlate it with uh, either revenue or the ability to uh, get customers uh, and keep customers in their industry. Uh, for example, uh, risk analysis, uh, uh, one of our customers, FICO, uh, has a number of applications around understanding risk, for example, of mortgages. So having applications that are able to uh, handle risk analysis, do it faster, uh, do it better than before, uh, lets them address more customers. Right, and lets them derive higher revenue on the top line. Uh, another category would be high-performance computing, and this is pretty broad in terms of verticals. Uh, we're seeing it in energy. We're seeing it uh, in some of the more classic enterprises, where, again, they're looking at uh, they're looking at applications that let them do analysis faster. The faster they're able to do the analysis, the faster they're able to turn the insight from that analysis into their business initiatives and drive business that way. So financial services and insurance, uh, as well as high performance computing across a broad spectrum of commercial enterprises. If I had eight seconds to talk to a customer, I would say that Oracle provides uh, the highest performance, most reliable platform for database applications, both on the cloud infrastructure side and on the database side with XData Cloud Service.